Hola, buenos días. This is Anna from Anna La Viajera. Welcome to my channel. They say music is language and language is music. In this video, we're going to see how Chavacano language evolves through Chavacano music from being 99.9% uh, Spanish down to the Chavacano that we speak today. So if you're interested to know about it, keep on watching. First song is No Te Vayas de Zamboanga. So this is written by Juan Cuadrado Sr. He's a Spanish who decided to stay in the country after the Spanish troops left the Philippines in 1898. So let's see. It was sung by major chords. They're a popular band in the uh, in Zamboanga, not in the Philippines, in Zamboanga. So I can say that this song is a hundred percent Spanish song and considering that the composer is a Spanish himself so that explains why and besides if it were written in the Chavacano way the subjunctive wouldn't be in that uh, form because the title alone not the Vajas, Vajas the subjunctive we don't have subjunctive in Chavacano as well as no yo no llores, llores. No, we don't need some chances. And that's scribire. Scribire, that's in future tense. We don't write the future tense in that way in Shabatano. So therefore I could say that this song is a hundred percent Spanish song. No trace of Shabatano on it. Next song is Sambuanga Hermosa. This is like our local anthem in Zamboanga. If we have national anthem, our local anthem would be this, Zamboanga Hermosa. It is written by a famous poet and orator, Vicente Orendain, in the 1930s, during that time when Tagalog became a national language. So let's see if there are already some Tagalog words incorporated in the lyric. Chavacano. This is our local hymn written by Bobit Navarro. He's a blue-blooded Atenean and it was sung by major chords again. So actually they're a popular band in Zamboanga and I remember when I was young, uh, my, I was younger, when I was younger, my dad bought their CDs. So I used to listen to their songs. Somehow I'm familiar with their songs. So let's see. That 
Dao Talia. I think this match is kind of anymore. Que bonito uwi. So, that's in Chabacano already. Because if it were Spanish, it would have been Que bonito oir with an R at the end. Que bonito oir. So, and ta, ta, but somehow from other dialects, it is not really gaynod, ta usu. Un poquito. So, un poquito Espanol, yes, because for me, okay, there you go. Yeah, and that na. Na is like Portuguese. It sounds Portuguese. So this song is, you know, for me, it's like 85%. The prepositions used and some verbs they are in Chavacan or other dialects already. So for me, it's 85%. Alright, so we go to contemporary music, Zamboanga music. Uh, the title of the song is Cuando, When by Comic Relief. So this is actually an alternative rock band and uh, they became a hit. The song became a hit and the band was popular way back then when alternative rock songs were popular. So let's see. <laughs> Long intro. <laughs> calor con calor se paga. <laughs> in the way that we speak Chabacan today. The expression used, everything, even, even the spelling of the words, I commend whoever writes this song. It was written really uh, almost the correct way because uh, before we don't have the standard Chabacan spelling, but for me, this one is somehow an actual, they have the actual spelling for the word Chabacan. So for me, it's like mm, there's been there, there's some Tagalog words as well. So it's like 80% Spanish. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you find this interesting, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just hit the bell button to be notified of new videos. So thank you. Hasta luego. Adios. Ciao.